it's like 9.30 at night and she's going for a nightly roll. I made a mistake and here's my confession. This, this place is awesome, especially right here, this bridge. But you mean to tell me the provincial park can't afford like an electric lawnmower that's a little more quiet? Or even a gas mower that's not from the 1970s? These ones are the only ones I've had for the last four days. I was just getting attacked by mosquitoes. In the water too? Yeah. Now you know how we feel. You went on there's a beach on the other side here? There you go, there you go, there you go. Lots of fire. So that's what's left of it. Well, it's time to start our Grundy trip. Our Grundy trip is part one of three parks that we're going to in our 10 day trip around, I guess, around Georgian Bay. Safe to say, it's our Georgian Bay trip. Here comes our breakfast. And uh, we're good to go. Us walking. I'm sure it's a terrible video. Of me. What's this, mine? Salt. Okay, it's a rainy one, but we expected it to be raining on our first day. It's been raining so much and so hard that uh, as you can see on the ground there, we got streams and everything like that. But uh, look at this, there's like a culvert here and the water is just flooded so much that it's just coming out of the ground, the uh, out of the culvert and it's just streaming way down there as you can see. Jeez, was that a lot of rain yesterday? I mean, I know they were calling for a lot of rain. I think they were calling for um, probably 70 to 80 millimeters of rain but it seemed like more than that and it all came down in just a matter of like three or four hours and all around here was all flooded and it's the next morning and uh things are better so um i don't know what do we i think we're gonna somehow hit a beach or something today like whether there, there's there's seven beaches here and then there's uh, a jumping rock area where uh, people can or kids can jump off rocks and stuff like that which is pretty cool just like just like Kill Bear and Kill Bear has one and it also has this thing called a sliding rock I don't know what that is I think we may go to that and check that out and see how that is but uh, yeah it was a lot of rain like um, getting back to the rain thing that's why I didn't I mean uh, there was nothing to videotape we were stuck in our trailer for almost the entire night and then it led up around it stopped around eight o'clock and we got out we didn't bother having a fire everything was just soaked and damp and everything so no sense having a fire so we just hung out in each other's trailer uh by the way i'm here with they're over there uh our camping buddies we always come with them darren and tammy uh, and their kids so we came with them and uh this is the first leg if i haven't said it already i know it might sound like a broken record this is the first leg of three so we're here at grundy provincial park and then from there we're going to i'll keep it a secret i'll tell you where we're going when we get there but we're staying here for three nights then we're going to another place for three nights and then we're going to another place for three nights after that and i don't know why i'm saying it's a secret because i think i said it in another video of mine so it's beach time and with beach time means we have a lot of stuff to take down and um we didn't get parking right down by the beach there actually there is no parking down maybe so we to park up there and it's a little three minute walk maybe down to the beach here this beach is there's seven beaches here so i forget which beach this one is but it's one near the um uh rock slide 
or the sliding or slippery rock or something like that where the kids can slide down. It's like a rock. Let me show you. So we're in the hunt for the slippery rocks. <laughs> We were told it's just down here. And I think I hear people. Okay, we found a slippery rock, but it's right behind me here. It's uh, the lake has a uh, high water levels this year, so the slippery rock is not much of a rock, more of a submerged drop off. So <laughs> you'd have to be pretty deep to slide, and you can still slide. I saw a lady sliding, but she was like a grown adult, and she was like waist deep in it before she was sliding so probably won't be good for the kids but you know what it's nice here so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it here You gotta swim back. It must be really slippery. It's a drop off. Okay, so like I said, this is called the jumping, sorry, no. This is called the slippery rock. And as you can see what's happening with the girls, what it is, it's a gradual decline from the shoreline and it's all this kind of Canadian shield rock. But after a certain point, right here, you can see it grips, but after a certain point, it's all mossy and you just slide like you're on ice. There's no other way. And then you, like Abby just said there, you gotta swim back. It's fun. You actually turn and you spin. In this spot right here, there's a little a bit of ledges and it levels out so you can stand. But over here where all the other people are, it's just a gradual incline, a constant gradual incline. And it's just all mossy. You actually have to swim back on your belly until you hit, you see that guy there, until you hit the actual um, uh, grippy part of the, of the rocks. Other than that, here, here goes the girl. <laughs> you spin around. It's just a sheet of ice. It's like a sheet of ice. And the water is really warm, surprisingly. Good job, bud. You tired? <laughs> Take a break. So I'm training Quentin how to swim for life for marathons. So I'm following in the kayak and he's swimming with the life jacket. In another week or two, we're going to take the life jacket off. <laughs> just kidding. He's doing good. We're swimming over to the, where those guys are, right, right over there. Keep going, bud. You're doing good. Go, bud. So we're at Grundy, which is about, oh, what, half hour to an hour south of Sudbury, but even that's for, far south, but we're far north of, north of the GTA. And if you look up in the sky, I don't know if you can see it, if the camera picks up, right there is the sun. It's like uh, four or five o'clock in the day, and it looks just orange. I know the sun's supposed to look yellow and everything, but you can see with the naked eye. And that's from the forest fires that are up north, north of uh, Thunder Bay here in Northern Ontario. So forest fires and the smoke is drifting south here I guess just with the prevailing winds and it's coming all the way south here and uh, it's a clear day and it's warm and everything but you wouldn't know it it looks like it's overcast and that's just from all the smoke that's drifting down from the north Megan how you doing <laughs> now I'll, well, I'll have you know uh, with all the rain we're guessing oh we're all far up north too but with all the rain um, there's a lot of mosquitoes here this weekend, a lot, and they're vicious. And that's why 
Andrew's spraying his socks. We also have a whole swamp. And um, yeah, well, well, with the rain and everything behind here, it's a little standing water. You know what? We drove around, Darren and I, when we dumped the garbage, and there's sites that are completely underwater. Uh, but there's also, when you're driving on the road, if you look off side road, there's oh, areas. I thought you were talking to the people. I am. I'm talking to everyone. <laughs> everyone. Everyone. Okay. There's areas where yeah. it's just like standing water in the bushes. It's just like swampy areas. So in another two or three weeks, if that water doesn't go down, yeah. Oh, yeah. if this area is not bad as it is with mosquitoes, will be even worse oh, yeah. for be breeding grounds. Yeah. So that's why we're getting the fire as good as we can get and oh, high as we can get to smoke out the and to, to, no, to smoke out the animal no, the mosquitoes and also uh tammy's got something she's gonna make for us of course when we go camping we always have to bring you a camping like fire pit little recipe or menu that we do so this one is no different and tammy is going to be our uh, hostess with the mostest okay what do you have i have what is this a, what's this called cast iron skillet yep. yep it's just a package of cookie dough with crushed oreos in it and then i'm gonna seal it up 15 or 20 minutes and we'll see what happens because we've never done this before oh we're learning we're you. learning so oh okay so we're being brave oh, we're being so, brave okay. so we're gonna go over here and hope for the best we go. I guess it's like a lot. The whole thing is soft. See, even the sides are soft. It's, just it's coming out pretty good, actually. If it's not burned, then you're good to leave. Okay, so how long has it been, Tammy? I would say about 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. Yeah. It was a while. Good. But it's, it looks a lot different than when we first put it in. As you can see, it looks uh, brown nicely. Or we could use paper So the towels. cookie cooked just, just... and the... Um, Oreo sort of melted in there with the uh, white sugar <laughs> from the yeah, Oreo. Wow. There are the Oreo filling, I guess it's yeah. called. So we're gonna let it cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna dig in. I should mention on are you oh yeah. on Darren's suggestion because it wasn't cooking, we cut it hoping it would like Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Uh, that's even. better than the other suggestion he was he was saying. He wanted to flip it like an omelet. Our Oreo campfire cookie. The inaugural Scoop. Scoop. Cookie collision. Too close. Ooh. It, there you go, Andrew. Came out like a pie. Yeah. Do you want a spoon? Maybe a spoon. Okay. Who else wants one? Okay, come and get one. How's the bottom? Did it? it it's fine. Okay, we're losing light here, uh, which is fine for a campfire. But consensus, everyone's eating a slice. It's it's burnt, but it's good. It's good. If you eat the top, sure. it's good. Yeah, it looks better like in the way. Yeah, no, we saw it earlier. So. Taste it and tell me what you think. Yeah, you don't even really need the spoon, actually. No. It's good. It's good. <laughs> good. Not too hot, no. Okay, let's try it. Hot. You request Titanic or? Yeah, because it's like yeah, more. Like, Very good. Very good. I don't know if you can see me because it's so dark. It's not just, dark. No, it's, it's dark here though in the it's camera. It's so hot. How are you guys it's eating good. this? It's good. And then you see the people going on these Facebook groups, oh well, you know what, suck it up. And those are the people who probably haven't lived through that. Because you see these videos where their caterpillars are everywhere and it's just they're pooping on you. Yeah. Yeah. But I, but I mean I get why people would leave early in that situation. So Julie says I need a tan, so I'll I just that move it up here. here. Uh, this is Grundy Provincial Park and uh, we're at the Sliding Rocks, kids are over there sliding. And it's, we were just talking about this, the whole group of us, all of us, and ranking this in the other parks we've been to, like Kilbear, <laughs> Sandbanks, Mikasu, uh, McGregor, and Sobble and stuff like that, and the list con continues. But those ones I mentioned are probably in our top. And you know what, a lot of, a lot of the 
the uh, kids here are saying that this, even though it's our first time here and a first day, keep in mind the first day we got here, rained out, it was torrential downpours. Uh, they're saying that this is their favorite park. Like just one trip, that's it, favorite park. <laughs> it's between this and Kale Bear. And Sandbanks. And Sandbanks. So, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to decide which one. This, this place is really good. What's your favorite? No, sorry? What's your favorite? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm really liking yeah, Grundy. Grundy and Kill Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Grundy's number one for me now. Yeah. Like Grundy. Kill Bear. Yeah. Kill Bear's been bumped to number two. I do like Sandbanks mm. though. Sure. But Sandbanks is a different vibe. It is. We're, yeah. yeah, it's a different vibe. We're going to Sandbanks uh, in a couple months, yeah. um, about a month and a half. So stay tuned to that, and we'll see. We've been there before. Um, water level is really high. We had fun. We're gonna go again and give it another shot and see how it is. Take two. <laughs> no, no, okay. you, you gotta put an old thing. You gotta, you, you gotta put an old cast. Uh, no, no, it's, 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 it's real life. This is what happened. Let me rephrase that. If you're the type to go going to a provincial park to party and make a lot of noise, don't then do Grundy. Don't do Grundy. <laughs> so remember yesterday when I said there's like a jumping rock and people can go and dive and jump into waters and stuff like that? Well. That's where we're going today. So, honestly, I'm not sure what happened last night. Okay, bud, whenever you're ready. Because if you have to force it. Oh, I lost a couple wings already. Yeah, we're just passing a sign here that says uh, Sudbury, 60 kilometers away. Thank you for watching Outdoor Canucks. See you all in the next video.